brief recap of yesterday. We went through what is COVID-19, uh, as well as the mode of spread of the infection, the signs and symptoms of disease. Uh, Dr. Chimbetet also took us through the situational analysis, both locally in Zimbabwe as well as globally. And uh, we also spent quite a bit of time discussing uh, COVID-19 testing, where Dr. Chimbetete emphasized the need for PCR testing rather than the cheaper rapid testing. So today we'll go through prevention of COVID-19 disease, prevention of COVID-19, and I'll just briefly start by sharing on hand hygiene. Uh, my task is easy today because I'm talking about things which we already know uh, and just giving a little bit of emphasis here and there. So we know that washing hands prevents uh, the spread of respiratory infections, diarrheal infections. I think you'll agree with me that ever since we went on this overdrive or talking about hand washing, there's been a, a great decrease in respiratory infections. You can actually think when was the last time you had flu, and yet in winter we know those infections go around quite a lot. So we've seen the impact of hand washing even on other diseases such as diarrheal infections. <coughs> we also know that um, unwashed hands can transfer germs, especially onto frequently touched surfaces. The picture there shows uh, the toilet, it shows earphones, it shows... Um, it was, it was Which the, I am sorry, sorry for the interruption. I think just uh, if the if people can just mute their mics so that there is no feedback. The picture is just. Huh? Sorry, guys. Can you still hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, okay. I thought I'd been muted by the host. So the picture there is showing frequently touched surfaces such as the fridge handles, the refrigerator itself, earphones, uh, desktop keyboards, especially when they are shared, uh, the cell phones, and uh, there's even a computer game gadget there, the handheld device. So, so many surfaces, the frequently touched surfaces are sources of spread of infection. So we know that we should wash our hands when doing what we've always been taught since, since uh, kindergarten, uh, before preparing a meal, before eating, after going to the toilet, after changing a baby's diaper, those, those we should still maintain. But really in the context of COVID-19, we are also emphasizing hand washing. When one has been in a public place, this can be a bank, a supermarket, when you touch an item or surface that is frequently touched, the door handles included, the supermarket uh, shopping carts, um, table tops, any frequently touched surfaces. Uh, and we are also emphasizing, do not touch your eyes, nose or mouth with unwashed hands. When you really must scratch, when you really can't resist the urge to scratch an eye, ensure that you wash your hands first before doing so. Um, so we are talking about under hand hygiene, there's hand washing. The most ideal is to wash our hands with I would have, I would have left here. Um, unfortunately, I'll just share the link to circulate to videos on, I, on proper hand washing. So first, we are encouraged to make our hands wet with clean running water. It can be hot or cold, water effective. And then to lather our hands to create foam. Using soap, and then to scrub our hands for at least 20 seconds. So they say if you want to time what 20 seconds is, sing the song Happy Birthday twice. And that's about 20 seconds. So, and then after that, we ensure that we rinse our hands thoroughly. So the lathering is important because that's what the lather, the form that's made when we, when we wash our hands, it's what lifts off the dirt, the grease, and uh, disease-causing organisms. And then the rinsing is also equally important because once these substances are lifted off, they need to be washed off. And then another... Yes. Doctor, 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 yes. you. 
Yes. Sanganisireo kakuiti la kutitungo nzuki sana tese tese. Language mkango. Sanganis. Thanks. Thank you. So here I'm trying to cater for our friends in Blauayo as well. I, uh, today I'll, I'll struggle. Uh, we've got a nationwide training. So here we are trying to cater for, for many worlds. So pardon me if I use Shona when you don't understand Shona. Uh, I'll try my best to, to use enough English for you to get what I'm saying as well. So I was saying, Papu uh, Geza Maoko, Jaka Kosho, Jakare Kuome Samaoko, usually teach Pukuta either with a disposable towel, rear non the paper towel, via the name of air dryers, it's also good. Gati Sashandi Sama dish towel, Mudzimba, no Papamun, one, Oenda Panano TV, unless you put one dish towel per, per person. So why hand drying is very important is. We know that germs easily get onto hands which are wet. So if I finished washing my hands and the next thing I'm getting hold of the door handle, it means germs will come from the door handle to my wet hands again. And yet, it will be less transfer of germs onto my dry hands. Um, when we can't find soap and water, when we have no access to soap and water, which I think is the case, Many times when we're in public places, cannot move him. But I'm more make him very connect. Tino for me to walk shandisa in on the hand sanitizer. Uh, in a in on the alcohol, mukati. So in on the alcohol based hand sanitizer. In engaging the northern rock vane at least 60% to 95% alcohol. We don't recommend 100% alcohol. Yeah, get us an methylated spirit and stuff because. It's no covered the mawoko. No funga tattoos the old red one where do next chance I hand sanitizer shakanyan. Kutimonquano sara kwa shara. Our hands get very dry due to frequent use of alcohol based hand sanitizers. That's why we don't recommend the 100%. So anything from 60% to 95% is fine. And you're directed by the label which will be on the hand sanitizer. So as a matter of advice, we should not buy hand sanitizer which does not show how much alcohol is in the product. I think we, we saw that some on social media, it was being shared that some hand sanitizer was sent for testing. It's going to be 25% alcohol. And yet, they are protected. So let's look out for that label, which shows that alcohol is in the hand sanitizer. Of note, hand sanitizer is not effective when the hands are visibly oily or dirty. Pangwaika diet no fandrao shandi sam vuraine sipo. Oily or dirty, let's say after eating, dapeza ujika sadza, you can't use hand sanitizer as an alternative to washing your hands with soap and water. And just also to reiterate, when you're using hand sanitizer, ensure the whole, all the surfaces of the hands are covered and you rub your hands until they are dry. You don't wipe them dry. But on the downside, I think we also saw on social media, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, because of its alcohol content, can be abused by older children to get drunk when they actually drink it. And then the younger children, they can actually get um, poisoning as a result of drinking hand sanitizer. So we must make sure we keep our hand sanitizer away from children. And then the older children, that would just mean more monitoring. Another subject we'll talk about in line with prevention of COVID-19 is cough etiquette. I'm sure those pictures say it all, that we shouldn't cough into our hands. Instead, we'll cough into a flexed elbow. An alternative, uh, tissue, tissue paper, which immediately after coughing into it, we then dispose of it. When we finish blowing our nose or coughing into a tissue, we must immediately wash our hands. hand sanitizer. Still teaching guide one near the 22nd rule. I'll also talk about face masks. These are just a barrier. 
uh, remember when Dr. Chimbetete was talk, teaching yesterday, he spoke about the main way in which COVID-19 is spreading is through respiratory droplets. My droplets are no Buddha, can I teach it? Taura, can I teach it? Tikayetsura, can I kukosora? So the mask acts as a barrier and it protects other people in case I, in Nina Kafeka mask, in case I have COVID 19 infection, this thing as you see. So the recommendation is that everyone should wear a face mask as long as you're in a public setting. But what's also important, Deja Kuti mask, I know Shanda Pamwechete and it's Menzira Zekuzi, Zatata or Ziakuti and washing, and then teachers with Taura Kumberu connection, yeah, social distancing, it's Menzira Zakana. And then in the top right corner, there are just a few examples of masks. I think most of us uh, are encouraged to wear a fabric mask. It has been seen to protect the next person, the person next to me from Iwanun's respiratory droplets. And then the other three are usually found in clinic or hospital settings. But the surgical mask, bluish, the second one to from the left, the surgical mask. And then the other ones, anonzima respirators, anonya nyoshandiswa munjimbo zino zine urwero ono parara through the A, uh, especially my hospital settings. So face mask, very important in the prevention of, from in the prevention of spread of COVID-19, especially ishi zivirira munu wandinai. Inini kanandaka feka mask, it means iya aka zivirirwa, kurkuti inini ndinayo infection. And then of note, at if I get the mask, kuvanavari pasi pezera re two years. Kana pa munar kutambuzi kane kufema. Kana oti munari unconscious. Kana oti munua tinongo zeyoti kana ndikam if I get the mask, acha chaza kui pisa egg. That's just the rule of thumb. If a person cannot remove a mask on their own, it means they should not have a mask. And then those pictures are showing proper mask wearing. Uh, of note, before we put on a mask, we must wash our hands. Remember, we are placing the mask on our faces. And already we said when we touch our faces with unwashed hands, Tirukwezera, Riskia Kutapu Kira, Utachwon, Esuskukuti Maokwedu, Abata Pano, Utachwon. And then we must make sure the mask uh, fits properly onto our faces, covering the nose completely, as well as Pasipechire, covering the chin completely. Quite a quita half half. Okay, I hope the other pictures will assist me. Um, the ones with the ticks clearly show the nose, the chin, the mask is covering both. Uh Tosi Otiva Mweveduka Nataneta, mask in also fekwa pauma, like shades like that. I think I've seen that. Uh, the most common one is the middle picture where the mask is worn below the chin. I've seen people do this, especially when they want to really talk. Let's say they want to give a speech and then to a mask, chase up a chin. And then the third person there is holding the mask in front. We should never do that. Why? Because we are saying if a mask is functional by filtering respiratory um, microorganisms, it means if you just fix your mask, it means when you have a high concentration, you touch on putting yourself at risk. So rather than putting your mask under the chin, let's say you want to eat, you'd rather completely take it off. And then when we are removing the mask, we make sure we remove it from the back using touching the strings, never touching the front of the mask uh, for the same reasons that I, I mentioned. And then after removing the mask, you also wash your hands or, sani or, or use hand sanitizer. Because we are just saying that mask can be carrying a lot of disease-causing uh, microorganisms. My mask is not going to touch on our one day. So this picture again highlights the do's and don'ts. I've seen that also. So we are just saying if that mask can any infection, 
it means infection yeye ya kutenda kunzvimbo dzakawanda kana mask ya rembera saizvo uh, the discussion will not be complete ndi sinotaura nyaya ma face shields no tindi kunyanya kwaona pa tv mazvano vanhu vakapfeka ma face shield these are usually used in clinical hospital settings where uh, ma clinicians anenge achida kuzvidzivirira kubva kuzvinhu zvinogona kuspray kupinda maziso awo so this is really for eye protection remember takati covid uh, utachona unokonzeresa covid 19 uh, unogona kupinda muiri medu through our eyes nemumino medu kana kuti nemuromo saka your face shield iri ku protect maziso it cannot be used as a substitute for a mask nekuti function yayo is just to protect the eyes it means zvese zvimwe zvinofemwa if i just use a face shield only i'm not protected from zvese zvaningawana through kufem so it is not recommended for use uh, under normal day to day activities let's say kwenda u supermarket ndakapfeka face shield if you see that picture it shows someone wearing a mask properly and in addition to that a face shield do roll your face shield yoi kwete kupfekwa iri yega the two go hand in hand and then another issue in your yema gloves if you see that lady pushing the trolley in the supermarket wearing gloves vamwe tinotona vachitosarudza madomasi vakapfeka ma gloves we are saying ma gloves are not recommended anoda kushandiswa when you are cleaning iya inonzi disinfection cleaning and disinfection yemumba chiaso dzidziswa nezvayo in the days to come as well as if i'm taking care of someone who is sick ndiye ndichinida ma gloves kuti ndizvidzivirire inini outside those settings ma gloves haite iwa anetenga kushanda kuparadzira urwere i think uh, pane ma studies akaratidza kuti utachiona unokonzeresa covid 19 unogona kurarama pama gloves for up to 8 hours zvichireva kuti inini kana ndabata surface ine utachona unokonzeresa covid 19 pama ndakapfeka ma gloves it means for the next 8 hours kana ndakapfeka ma gloves why ndichange ndichingoparadzi utachona ku supermarket ku bank kupi kwese kwandaenda ndichitsansa ma gloves ndakanganwa ma gloves haindombobata nawo kumeso and also saka the recommendation rather than kupfeka ma gloves kana uzvinetsa nokutotsvaga ma gloves is just to make sure we we have access to clean water and soap for washing our hands kana zvisipo ma hand sanitizer so uh, i have a colleague who shall share on the rest of the presentation dr magumise again in line with nyaya prevention you see kuti part of prevention inyaya disinfection ya tataura it will not be covered today we will allocate a different session for this on its own um otherwise for now that still please keep your questions coming uh rambai mchinyora mubvunzo yenyu in the chat room uh as i hand over to dr magumise if he's if he presentation which is also an additional measure uh to reduce um uh, covid-19 infections um reducing infections um to other people when it is coming um from you or uh you are reducing your um chance of getting infection uh, so we say you are, we actually need to exercise uh, physical dis distancing and we usually talk about uh, maintaining at least 2 meters uh, between you and the next person um studies have actually shown that covid-19 droplets particles do not travel um beyond the 2 meter range um especially when someone is breathing normally uh, obviously these dynamics change when someone coughs or sneezes uh where the distance um uh, tend to 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 be uh, longer um but generally we we advise um 2 meters to reduce that chance of getting that infection infection from the next person Uh, so this is further reduced um, by use of face masks which dr yewu uh, talked about so if you combine the use of your face masks and the physical distancing you are actually reducing your chance of getting infection so why 2 meters uh, that diagram just um, shows um, 
sort of the dynamics that are there when someone just breathes uh, out uh, into the atmosphere, which is the exhalation there. So it shows that if it is normal breathing, uh, the droplets that just uh, travel as far as about 1.5 meters. So your two meters from someone, say, who is asymptomatic, but uh, infected, uh, not coughing, not sneezing, you, your two meters is a, is a safe uh, distance. But however, if someone is now sneezing or coughing, you see that it actually then projects and those droplets um, travel uh, a, a larger distance. Hence, the combination of the physical distancing and the face mask can actually then reduce uh, your chance of getting infection or how far the particles travel. And no, in normal breathing, just about 1.5 meters. When you call for a sneeze, it travels further. Uh, so your two meters distance for someone who is uh, asymptomatic and breathing normally, you will be safe. But again, as I said, combining this uh, physical distancing and the face mask uh, then reduces this chance of uh, infection. Um, this one, again, is just showing the, 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 the particles uh, where, where you now combine your face mask um, and, and obviously the, 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 the distance. So the first uh, diagrams, the face mask, they reduces your chance of getting infection from the environment, uh, from the people that would have um, um, coughed um, or spread the particles within the atmosphere. Your face mask then reduces your chance to, to get that infection. And the second diagram, it reduces you transmitting uh, to the other um, uh, people also. Um, we go on to handling public uh, gatherings, um, of which most of us find ourselves um, uh, get involved or tempted to go, or sometimes obliged, uh, obliged to go. Um, but I wanted to start with this question to say, because obviously in our setting we say um, public gatherings should not go beyond uh, 50. But I have this question where I'm saying is, the, is it the number that really matters to say less than 50? Uh, I wish it was an open discussion, then I would have gotten answers from you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but let me hear from you. Is it really the number that matters? Anyone? Num not less than 50? No, oh, it's not the number. I don't think no, it's, a, no. it's the number. Uh, it's nothing magic about the I number. I also don't think it's the number. Uh, give me a reason. <clears throat> because if, if, you, if it's the two of you and one is infected and you don't have your mask or whatever, you will still get infected, no matter you are 5, 20 or 50. True. So, so the number 50, this is from a public health point of view, uh, where we then say, okay, um, if it is so compelling that you have to gather, we are minimizing the numbers of people that will possibly get infected. That's from a public health point of view. But at an individual point of view, the answer that you have given is the correct one. So it is not necessarily the number, it is about if, if the next person, even if you have to, if the next person is infected, it means you also have a chance to get infected. So don't derive your security um, um, or, or your protection from the reduced number uh, as an individual. Um, so as an individual, always mind the next person. But as I said, from the public health point of view, you know, when, 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 when it's at looking at a country, then they say it's 50 people that then got infected. It's a better number than when people were 500 or 5,000. But that's at a public health point of view. But as an individual, you would already have been um, infected. But anyway, that is what is there. I just wanted you to, 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 to see that, to say, don't derive your, your security um, just from the numbers of people to say if they are 10 us that's why i'm safe it's actually we are permitted to be 50 so if we are 10 it means we are safe no you are not safe as long as if someone is positive among the 10 of you you are not safe so uh, for the 
uh, guidelines concerning the church, obviously, I will go through these ones, but, not, but for now, we are not advising any church um, uh, gathering, um, obviously, because of the numbers that are increasing. Obviously, a better guide will come from the National Council. Um, but if it so happens that you are meeting, uh, so in the event that you have to meet, um, each congregation or a zone uh, need to have a task team uh, consisting of people who, with skills and knowledge of specific COVID-19 related guidelines. Means our sharing uh, with you, uh, those that have come, so that you are also aware of the expectations and the guidelines that we are actually communicating. So before opening the church buildings, the building must be cleaned and, de and disinfected. And then um, you are also supposed to clean and disinfect uh, bathrooms, door handles, light switches, microphones, seats, and other frequently touched surfaces. Any surface uh, or any point that you might know is frequently touched, you are actually also supposed to, to clean it. Um, churches must then ensure that uh, the necessary social distance uh, is also maintained uh, during the, 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 the meetings. Um, so, as we said, it's not the number that you, where you derive your security from, but it is uh, the social distancing and the face masks. So maintain uh, those again when you, if you are to meet. The size of groups should not be lim should be limited to fifty. This is a national gu guideline, but we have already discussed about it. Uh, you also need to post signage to remind congregants to wear masks, um, to maintain social distancing, and not to shake hands. Uh, if you then see someone who is not wearing a mask correctly, um, I know other people may get offended, but I think it would be important for us to empower ourselves, one another. Uh, you saw what Dr. Yewu demonstrated. If someone is wearing a mask and their nose is not covered, uh, not, not correcting them is not being polite because they are a danger to you and to the rest of the congregants. So I think it will also be good to correct one another there, uh, to remind one another on the correct way of wearing those masks and also the correct distance to maintain uh, between one another. We also need to place markers or remove chairs to indicate the recommended physical distance. So for those that have fixed the chair, you can't remove them. You can't remove them. So you then say maybe one chair, uh, the next chair you block it, the other chair uh, can be free, just like that. Uh, so you have to uh, block those chairs in between if they, can, if they can be removed. Uh, but if they can be removed, then just uh, place them at a recommended physical distance. And then you also have to um, maintain a register of attendance at each event um, uh, to facilitate, this will actually be used to facilitate contact tracing should need arise. In the event that one of you among that gathering um, then tests positive, um, it means we then need to know uh, the people that were at that gathering to facilitate in the contact uh, tracing. So that, that, that's why this uh, register, this attendance register is important. So the register has to include the name, the contact number, and the address of the person so that we can follow them up and um, trace them. Um, then in terms of hygiene uh, for the facility, which is the church building or any public um, uh, building, uh, where you are gathering, cleaning agents must be available for all buildings before and after services to thoroughly disinfect facilities for a subsequent meeting. And then also floors, uh, benches and chairs must be wiped off using disinfectant before and after uh, the meetings. Um, and then the hand sanitizer must be available at various points throughout the church uh, building. Uh, Dr. Yowu uh, touched on the hand sanitizers uh, so these must also be available at the church. Toilets must also be kept hygienic, and you also need to ensure adequate availability of alcohol-based um, hand sanitizers, soap, running water, and uh, paper towels. Um, and then if you are to use a paper towel, 
after using it, you then need to discard it into a bin, uh, and that bin ought to be uh, ought, ought to have um, a lid to close it. You are also supposed to put signs with guidelines on how to wash hands at hand washing points, so you or even indicate where those water points are, are available. Uh, if people are to use um, the toilet facilities, maybe at least two people at a time, again, to try and maintain that uh, social distancing. I think more so, um, especially uh, for those uh, places that can, can be uh, crowded or can accommodate more people at one place, at one time. Uh, then ent on the entrances, each person's temperature should be taken. Uh, and those with a high temperature at 7.5 should be, or above, should be asked to return home. If there is a health personnel, it's better to also then inform the health personnel that they can um, see what they can advise a um, uh, way forward. You also need to provide alcohol-based hand sanitizers for use on entering and leaving the buildings. Ushers at the entrance will be responsible for spraying the hand sanitizer and also checking the temperature as people come in um, into, the, into the building. Coming to the service itself, um, we might have been used to three-hour services and, uh, and the like, but in these uh, times of uh, pandemic um, times, you actually need to reduce your contact time so we recommend that you reduce your whole service to one hour, <laughs> less if possible, <laughs> the, the less the better. And allow also at least 30 minutes before the next service. Uh, this will also then uh, give you room uh, to sanitize the place before uh, the other people will come into the next service. Uh, in, in terms of ties and offerings, giving, uh, if it is, if it has to be physical um, cash, um, uh, put drop-in points um, where people can drop in their 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 their, their offerings, or their tithes, um, or then also drop in um, as they as they go out of the church building. But uh, most importantly, promote uh, electronic um, transactions. Uh, but we do know that there are also others that we need to give um, hard cash. Um, in terms of announcements, it's better they may be made verbally or also be spread electronically. Uh, no distributing of leaflets um, is a form of uh, announcements because by so doing, you can easily spread out um, contaminated leaflets to others. And then you need to disinfect it, poop it after each uh, service. Uh, for the preachers, uh, you are not supposed to share microphone. Of course, we know that usually there is a person, but there is the MC, and the, the MC, then there is the, the preacher. So the, the mic should not move from the MC to the preacher uh, directly. If it is to do that, then it has to be disinfected between uh, use by the two people. Uh, better still each one ought to have their own mic. Uh, PPE for all church members, they are supposed to wear masks. Um, and then we talked about the hand sanitizers at the entrances and thermometers. The high risk groups must stay at home. Dr. Chibete did touch about the high risk groups, um, those that have chronic conditions, um, heart diseases, diabetes, asthma, chronic chest infections and the like, those uh, and also uh, the, the aged, um, those must stay at home. Um, Sunday school, um, we advise that it sh should be suspended, especially during this time. Uh, going to funerals, weddings and the like, uh, being part of the public um, gatherings, obviously most of these, they will share the same guidelines with the church. Uh, guidelines uh, because it will be at a venue, so that venue has to follow uh, most of the things that we discussed uh, when we were discussing the, the church uh, meeting. Uh, but maybe just to add, obviously, on, on our funerals, to not to no bata maoko saka to kudav no bata maoko kuto bata maoko kwa to kudav no bata maoko kisho. So ipapa patrudot 
Unfortunately, this time, no handshakes, uh, no embracing, uh, no hugs. Uh, if, you are, if, they, if your food is to be served, let it be hot meals. Um, sleepovers, uh, if you can avoid. Of course, there are also others that can't uh, avoid, but then you have to take um, as much precaution as, as, as possible. But sleepovers are discouraged. And then if it is a COVID um, um, person who died, uh, this has to be entered according to the guidelines. Lastly, there is the preacher. Um, I did um, find a good guide, guide on the preacher per se. So I wanted a discussion so that we can, we can come up with a recommendation for what we say to the preacher in the event that they are now preaching to people that are observing their physical distancing, they are having their own masks. The preacher, what should the preacher do now? Um, right? Take us. Put on a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Put on a mask. Let's go. Another one. Thank you. I think, I think, I think it's the, Hello. Hello. Yes. I think that he should not. Um, Zokita lay hands, Zumbo Mira, people, and um, yeah, like Shatar on that dog, um, Chifam Baguti, and uh, Fanagita put on Max, Puna, my parrot, or Mano Parita, you know, which uh, were uh, so, you know, when uh, Buddha Matea Gawanda, so I got to add, I know for five, I know for five, and Zumbo, yes, yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, hey. Another one. Let's go, let's go. Time I have and I have that. I think the social distancing here should just stay on the stage if possible. Good. Social distancing, good. So I would I would agree with you. I social think it's also advisable for the preacher to avoid maybe having many hard copies of uh, uh, any paper. Uh, so, 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 sorry, I, I, I'm not so sure whether it's me, uh, but your net, I'm, I'm hearing breaking. Oh, uh, I was saying uh, the, for the preacher, it's also advisable to have. I think the line more is better. use. Ah, okay. I, I think. The, copies. Sorry, my bad. So, sorry, my brother. I think the light so, is dead. Then we'll have to definitely disinfect the pulpit. Okay. Uh, all right. So let me summarize what you said or what, what people have said here, which is important. I would agree with the social distancing, physical distancing. For the preacher, I want to. Ex I would want to extend the distance uh, from the two meters. You remember, Arku shout, Arku tower would run once. Saka, Tomo extended a distance, preacher, and it because the Argo shout, Saka, I think Tomo extended a distance, uh, maybe minimum three meters. Um, then, oh, obviously, could avoid the spitting, obviously, also the laying on of hands, the tower goes like a tacky contact, Taku avoid the issue, um, again. Um, I wanted to bring in the uh, aspect of your shield, Dr. Yeo, that now we discuss. But I think in this regard, um, per shield, per preacher, uh, face shield, um, in Ango Batsira, um, especially with the projection, it's in this, um, uh, it's in this uh, particles too much further. Um, but obviously, as Dr. Yeo said, a shield doesn't protect the person Akaisa shield from the from the particles that are within the environment. No weakness in a shield here. Um, so I think um, we go back to the to the face mask, the social distancing, and not laying on of hands. Otherwise, I'm done. Thank you very much. We can entertain questions for both Dr. Yeo and myself.
the gentleman who was trying, whom you couldn't hear properly, was saying, that we have minimal use of hard copies of any papers or notepads, even though we will disinfect the, the pulpit. I think that's the comment he was trying to make. And then when it comes to questions, one question, how long do I wear a face mask? For wear a face mask, I think I'll answer that. Uh, I think you remember the picture where we showed different types of face masks. So the rule of thumb, if it's a, dis if it's a disposable face mask, when you actually open the container, it's actually returned for one time use. It means it should not be reused. After time, when you're taking it off, it's going to the bin. It's not going to a shelf for reuse tomorrow morning. But if it's a cloth mask, which many of us are, are wearing these days, the rule of thumb is that when the mask is wet, you assume that it is no longer doing its job of filtration. Uh, droplets are to the next person. Uh, so if a mask is wet, that's the point at which it must be changed. And I think in line with that, there's also a question about what's the um, ideal material to use uh, for face masks since Kirkujigadzirira take my face mask. And um, I think in general, Cotton is fine, um, especially in on the high thread, in a high thread count, because it then means that my air spaces are in my shoma. So it's about the air going to a filter, my droplets are at a tower, and I'm going to go to the moon, can I shout, can I sneeze, can I can I So in general, cotton, but you know, the vacuity, the moon, the moon, the encourage work to any face covering. So she revolt can and in a scarf, musoya and in a mask and the sunga scarf to cover my mouth and my nose. Scarf yo yo, each a shanda, jirinani panic from bandi sinash at chose. So at the end of the day, it's any face and nose, uh, any mouth and nose covering, but this material does at a tower. I'm also still going through the questions. Um, Someone was asking about coughing into a flexed elbow. As you have a recuti munu, a cosorera mu, gokora make, won't they spend the whole day carrying the virus on themselves? Uh, when we are talking about coughing into a flexed elbow, we are saying this is to prevent my infection, if I have one, from going to the next person. Um, and I think uh, on one of my slides, I might not have read it, but there was a clear instruction to say, do not spit. Do not spit. Because indeed, if you spit, uh, the sputum will, yeah, it will cause problems. Like you're rightfully saying, it will then cause one to carry the, the, any infection on their clothes for a very long time. But uh, when we are talking about coughing, it means I'm protecting the next person. I, I hope that sort of explains why we are still encouraging coughing into a flexed elbow. Uh, so masks don't really help the people wearing them, but others. It's a question. Dr. Magumi say if you want to chip in or any of the team members, if you want to chip in, do no, masks ma uh, only protect the wearer? Uh, do they only protect others and not the wearer? Uh, if you remember the diagram, and Andambo show a mask in a, in a two ways. So number one, the mask uh, protects you from the particles are in the environment, which means my particles are quite emitted by other people. So mask will protect you from others or from that which is in the environment. And then secondly, if you are infected and you are wearing a mask and you are breathing using, using that mask, your droplets, instead, you, instead of traveling that 1.5 meters, each IT 1.5 meters, you are 500, um, um, 50 centimeters rather. 
aicha ishike ka kwe kumwe kweso saka ya protecta others from you so it it is joa it protects you from others and you protect uh, you, you protect others from yourselves from yourself yeah thank you dr magumise um for, for sharing about the different types of masks i think that question is also answered by the different types of masks that we highlighted but yeah dr magumise thank you for the explanation then someone is also emphasizing that for a mask to be good it must have at least three layers of material in it i think that's an important point which has been raised in the comments the more the layers the more effective i think the ones i've mostly seen being made tailor made right now most of them have got two layers most yeah so we know that at least three layers is somewhat more protective and then there's someone asking isn't there a risk of inhaling carbon dioxide when putting on masks I don't know if someone wants to take that. Uh, others can come through. We are not the only ones, but yes, it's true. Um, yeah. There is a risk of um, inhaling carbon monoxide from, from masks. The, 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 the more tight they are, uh, the more you are also um, prone to inhaling um, the same air which you would have exhaled. Uh, I think that's why some, uh, we, we then talked about, uh, obviously, if you put on a mask for an extended period of time, you need to find a safe place where you remove uh, your mask, breathe normally um, um, and deeply, and then put them back. Uh, but others can come in. Hello. Yes. Yes, I think what is key is risk versus benefit. So mm -hmm. the benefit wearing a mask far, far outweigh the risks to back your carbon dioxide. However, mm -hmm. if you are exercising, then it may not be advisable to wear a mask because it can affect you. If you are exercising, you are running a marathon, you, you can't be wearing a mask. But mm -hmm. ordinarily, the, the benefits way outweigh the risk. I think that's what I would say. True. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Chimbetete. Um, another question which has come through, can the virus get in through the... I think uh, Dr. Chimbetete touched on this yesterday. Maybe you want to talk about that, Dr. Chimbetete. Thank you. I remember we said the virus is carried in droplets, respiratory droplets. So the whole idea of the mask is to stop those respiratory droplets. Over. Thank you. And uh, maybe the last one of the last questions of the day. So, how is this virus going to be finally contained? <laughs> yeah, that that sounds like a desperate someone who's really wondering. That's how a million dollar question. question. Sorry, Doctor Magumise. I uh, think that's a million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone shouted and answered the this being a viral infection. I think if we can recall most viral infections, um, even I know nice waba never chirivadik. The end, the end, um, the the most effective method at the end of the day is vaccination to prevent. Although we know that many, many drugs are being evaluated, cure. So at the end of the day, we know that to manage a viral disease, the most ideal thing is prevention. That's why today our discussion is based on prevention rather than cure, because we know because of financial is they've got lots of ways of evading treatment methods. Look at HIV almost 30, 40 years later. What we have 
his treatment just to suppress, to not to eradicate it. So at the end of the day, prevention is vaccination. I don't know if there's Do any addition. Yes. Yes. Doctor, for I just wanted to comment on Nyaye Yema air conditioning. Ne 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 ma ma blow dryer. Mm -hmm. So there was a study I got ku China where there was a man who had come from Wuhan province where this whole thing started. So he was sitting in a restaurant with all the physical distancing, yeah, one to two meters. Never know and got a table. Younger, and then there was a table further up from him, way more than two meters. Within the incubation period, yes, SARS CoV, some people from that table got infected. And what they then found out was that number one, this guy obviously was in a restaurant, Sakangas in a mask. Number two, the air conditioning was on and blowing. So the advice is ngati sashandi say air conditioning. If you are in a car, kungo from a window achu, kana tiri muma offices kutongo fuge numa blankets kana kushinge kushitonora is way better than putting that uh in on the air conditioning on it should blow a hot air. There are many more things in the environment which it will blow. Another place in the workplace or in public places where they have seen a high concentration of the virus is in bathrooms or toilets. Because and also the issue of hand dryers. So if we have got my workplaces where there are hand dryers which are still functioning, my advice would be let's stop them from functioning and we use paper towels instead. Over. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Mutsa. Um, seven o'clock is our time. Uh, we respect your time. Thank you so much for attending today's session. Um, I think Dr. Magumise did highlight uh, guidelines for opening churches or for running church services in this era of COVID-19. Uh, the current guidance from the National Council is that um, all services are suspended. No one is meeting, is having in-person in uh, church services. Most of, all of us have been encouraged to go virtual. Either teach Shansama WhatsApp, Kutimunans, Weshoko, Kanotushansa Facebook, Vamuakwita Pasumi Papa. That's the encouragement. I think Tesetinons, we said the complexities associated with Vanu 50 Mu Church, because we are not just talking about 50 individuals, we are talking about 50 social networks. So it's not just about 50 individuals, but it's 50 social networks. In addition, the singing, which is done in church, which has the potential to generate more particles, and spread the kuvanu. Vajinji tino imbataka zikisa ma mask. The issue of the preachers, taurwa na na doctor makumise. There's a lot of issues. So the position, the church's position right now is uh, we are not doing church. Da ona vamweva time bitu have church outdoors chichichi. I think for as long as it's faith ministries at Tisquitama Church Services until until further notice. Otherwise, thank, thank you so much for joining us for tonight's training. We will continue tomorrow, same time, 6 to 7 p.m. Invite your friends, invite your anyone whom you feel will benefit from. I think tomorrow we'll talk about the issue of self-quarantine, isolation, yeah, which, which is quite topical and it will be very helpful to attend tomorrow's session. Otherwise, thank you and uh, good night.